Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Channel Chris. Today we've got this Dodge Avenger in the garage and we're going to be changing out the wheel speed sensors. There's one in the front and one in the rear I'm going to show you how to change out. Pretty simple job, very easy to change out, only a couple tools. Have you guys ever seen this light pop up before? Okay, if you've seen that light, chances are that your wheel speed sensor is probably gone out. Um, sometimes they're built into the, um, to the uh, um, sometimes the ABS sensor is built into that wheel bearing. So you have to change out the whole wheel bearing. Sometimes it's just the sensor itself. It's about 40 bucks. Um, let's see if I got one laying around here. Let me look. All right, I did find one. So it looks like this. Pretty simple. Um, there's gonna usually be like a 10 millimeter bolt that goes in right here that holds that thing into place. You'll take out that bolt. Sometimes these things get stuck. Don't try to just pry it out because this little thing will break off down inside there. And uh, man, it's heck trying to get that thing out. So I just gently twist it back and forth a little bit and pry and gent gently pull and pry until it pops out. And then um, there's gonna be a couple little places to bolt it back on up through there. And then it's gonna go through and plug in. I'll show you guys how to change this whole thing out. Let's get our tools together and I'll show you how to do it. Okay guys, we got our tools together and the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is to take this wheel off. So let's go ahead and get that off. Okay, now we've got that wheel off. And like I said, guys, this is a very easy project to do. A lot of people will go spend hundreds of dollars to take this thing to the shop just for just for them to change out that wheel speed sensor. Very simple, like I said, 45 bucks. So, all right, come right in here. Here's the wire to it right here. The easiest way to find it is just follow a little wire like this and look for a little something that looks similar to that. They're almost the same looking on most vehicles I've ever changed them on. So just look for something that comes into the hub like that. Like I said, sometimes it's um, it's attached to the wheel bearing. So you'll have to change out your whole wheel bearing just to change out this wheel speed sensor. Um, if you get lucky like me, it's simple like this. So you'll just take out this one 10 millimeter. Like I said, don't just get something behind that and pry that out. It will snap down in there. I've had it happen before, it sucks. So just gently twist it back and forth, back and forth until it pops out. And then you'll kind of clean out that hole a little bit. Okay, and then this will travel up. Um, your new sensor will come with this whole wire like this. It'll come with a new bracket that's gonna screw in right here. I think this one was like a 13 millimeter. I may be wrong, but it's something like that. And then it goes up screws in here again, and then it's gonna go up, and you'll see it pops into the firewall right there. Just pull this thing, it's like a little rubber grommet, just pull it and pop it out. Um, it'll just pop right out. Okay, so let's go up to the top side now, and I'll show you what to do up there. All right, now we're up top. You need to um, unplug that wheel speed sensor now, and it's kind of in a tight spot. It is, um, if you're looking at the engine, here's your um, strut tower right here. It's gonna be kind of right beside it, straight down behind these hoses right here, these AC lines. If you look down in there, just jiggle on the wire on the underside where you popped it through and you'll see, you'll see it coming through. I think it's right there. You can see the tip of my, tip of my flashlight's right in there. You just have to jiggle around and look for it. You'll find it and then unplug it and then pull your wire back through this side here. And then you'll have the whole assembly in your hand like this right here. This is the old one. I've already changed this one out. You'll have this right here. The new one will come looking like this. You'll feed this back. Here's the plug in that was on the inside. You'll feed this back through the hole. Okay, here's a little rubber grommet. You'll pop that in to fill in that hole. This will come around. You'll put your brackets on. You'll slip this back into the hole. Snug down your bolt. Don't over tighten it. It's only holding down plastic. So just snug it down pretty, you know, good, but not over tighten it. And then that is it on the front one. You will have that job complete if you do that. Okay, takes about five minutes. So we're gonna put this wheel back on and then I'll show you what was up with the back one. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up on the front. Very easy to job to do, guys. Don't uh, take it to a mechanic and overpay, over, overpay for something like that. 45 bucks, took me about five minutes. Very easy job to do. One screw in there, a plug up here. Some people don't know though, you know, you see that light, that ABS light and that traction light, and it scares you, and you take it to a shop immediately. Don't gotta do that. Um, now, as far as the back, I've already done this project, so I'm not gonna do it again. It's the it's same process in the back. You're gonna jack it up and take your wheel off. There's a, there's a 10 millimeter bolt. You're gonna follow that line up. It's gonna poke through the firewall, or not through the firewall, it's gonna poke through your, um, your fender right there. Same little rubber piece. Okay, if you come into your trunk, you're just gonna have to look for that thing. I peel back the carpet, pull back this piece, 
you know, pull all this back and pop out this little thing from the bottom. Let me see, let me show you. Pop this piece out real quick. All right, now we've got that carpet out. Okay, you're just gonna come in right here, pull this up. If you'll look up in here, should have brought my flashlight, but it's right up in there. You see that little red tab right there? Yeah, that's the plug to it. Just follow it, it pokes through the floor, and that's your plug to your wheel speed sensor on the back. Very easy job to do. Again, another five to 10 minutes, you get that one wrapped up, and you'll be rolling back down the road again, smooth as eggs. So, hope that fixes your issue, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And that is how you fix a wheel speed sensor on a Dodge Avenger.